BCCI President and Cricket Administrator Jagmohan Dalmia passed away in Kolkata on Sunday following a massive cardiac arrest. Dalmia had not been keeping well off late and had not been taking part actively in the day-to-day -day functioning of the BCCI. President Pranam Mukherjee, PM Narendra Modi and sports fraternity condoled the death of the former ICC President. West Bengal Chief Minister and Governor had condoled the demise of Dalmia. Prime Minister Narendra Modi shared his thoughts with the nation in the 12th edition of Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio and Doordarshan. PM Modi hailed the program as instrument of people's power and said that the program has provided valuable feedback to policy makers. Asserting that India would give better returns on investments than many other countries, Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has invited foreign investments for infrastructure and other sectors in Hong Kong. Addressing investors and business leaders in Hong Kong on Sunday, he said India is keen to resolve border dispute with China. Congress accused the center of favoring the rich at its Kisan Samman rally held in New Delhi on Sunday. Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi hit out at BJP's Make in India campaign, saying it will not give anything to farmers and that their land will be taken away to benefit some people. In its counter-attack, BJP said UPA ignored farmers' plight in its 10 years rule and that Rahul's remarks on PM are childish and immature. India and Pakistan will hold a flag meeting today at the line of control in Punch district of Jammu and Kashmir. The meeting will be of brigade commander level and will take place at Chakanda Bagh crossing point at LOC. The meet is to address the issue of ceasefire violations. The field commanders from both sides will discuss the modalities to defuse the tense situation. Home Minister Rajnath Singh will undertake a three-day visit to forward areas along the borders with Pakistan and China, including Chumar in eastern Ladakh today. During his visit, the Home Minister will inaugurate a new officer's mess at the camp of Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force in Samba and may also go to posts in the sector, which have often come under fire from across the border. Notification for the second phase of Bihar Assembly election will be issued today. Voting of this phase will be held on October 16 in 32 constituencies out of 243 Assembly seats. Meanwhile, BJP announces the third list of 11 candidates. Hindustani Awam Morcha has also announced its list of candidates for seven Assembly seats on Sunday. In Uttar Pradesh, a couple allegedly committed suicide by jumping in front of a moving train along with their three children in Jhansi area in Allahabad district on Sunday. Loan burden on the family was slated to be the reason behind the suicide. The matter is being investigated. Nepal government on Sunday adopted a new historic constitution amid celebrations and protests to mark the country's transition to a secular and democratic republic from a Hindu monarchy. India has extended its best wishes to the people of Nepal. In Greece, Alexis Tsipras has hailed a victory of the people after his left-wing Syriza party won Greece's fifth election in six years. With 60% of votes counted, Syriza is projected to be in clear majority. 13 migrants, including six children, died when their boat was wrecked in Turkish waters as several thousand more migrants arrived in Austria from Hungary via Croatia when Budapest abruptly decided to reopen a border crossing with Serbia, whose closure on Tuesday had sparked a surge of migrants into Croatia. Scrambling to address a growing Syrian refugee crisis, U.S. has announced to significantly increase the number of worldwide migrants it takes in over the next two years. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said U.S. will accept 85,000 refugees from around the world next year, up from 70,000, and that total would rise to 1 lakh in 2017. A total of 555 pairs of twins participated in Twins Festival held on Sunday in China's Fujian province. The oldest twins at the festival are 88 years old, while the youngest are of two months old. The event was very interesting, where many twins were from abroad. The Indian selectors picked the team for the upcoming T20 International and ODI series against South Africa starting from 2nd October. India's limited overs captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni is back in the thick of things, while Gurkirat Singh Man of Punjab and S. Arvind of Karnataka are the two new faces. Harbhajan Singh retained for T20 Internationals, while Ravindra Jadeja ignored once again. Czech Republic are back in the Davis Cup World Group. The visitors have taken a 3-1 lead in the playoff tie against India. Jiri Westley won the fourth singles rubber on Sun. Yuki Bhamri, 6-3, 7-5, 6-2.